we have Michael Fultz, our Finance Director, Monthly Financials. Thank you. Um, what I've presented to you and through a package um, is the December Financials Income and Expense, and this is what I'm calling the second pass. What I've done is I've updated the numbers, and I'm just going to hit the, a couple of the highlights that, <coughs> that are dealing with this. The expenditure report changed very little between the first pass and the second pass. There's about $26,000 of additional expense, and that is the result of the 12th the 2012 accruals or actual column um, changing due to the year-end accruals um, being slightly higher than the 11. Now accruals are not the encumbrances I'm talking about. <coughs> these are the year-end invoices for the street lighting, the electric, so heat, okay, so that I get the right bills in the right month and I have on the books from the prior year a very similar number. I flip them, bring in a new number, and this year the number was higher by about $26,000. The biggest change was in the open 2012 PO column, now I'm talking about accruals, the total to be encumbered, and I say to be because nothing has been encumbered as of this time, has been lowered from the first estimate, which was $512,000, to $385,000 due to one, adding $14,000 for the code book update, which you approved me to do a late accrual on. Closing of $45,000 worth of uh, public works POs. Um, as I said, we do a second review, and we found that these were uh, no longer needed, had been finished, they were closed. It's just part of the process. And then third, the voiding of the $100,000 PO related to the repair of the sewer beneath Lafayette and Winnicott Road. I'll get into that in another section. In the special revenue accounts, the only change was to fund 27 EMS, where an additional $83,000 was December billings was recorded. This is the typical, we run a month behind all year long. We finally catch up in December. There is a second analysis, which we'll get to in a minute, so showing the suggested, and I say suggested total dollars to be encumbered, along with a copy of the modified outstanding open 2012 PO listing. I will need a vote of the board before booking these encumbrances. Please note that if the board makes a change to the totals, the expense reports will need to be adjusted and reissued. It's not a major thing. Uh, shortly, I'll be finishing up a cover memo of the unaudited statements for inclusion, which will look a lot like the monthlies, which is what you have here, and then with a bigger cover note, and that's what will go into the annual report. A copy of the memo will be forwarded to you as soon as it's available, and that will become my package that I will put up on the web. I will distribute to the budget committee, et cetera. I am planning on having that done by Friday. You have an answer to a prior question in regards to the rise sewer billings. It was much greater than budget by $105,000. It turned out there was a $97,000 bill issued in December for the capital cost for 2005 to 2011. This bill was paid within one week. That was a catch up. So therefore, there should have been some number to the tune of 15,000 included as cost. So therefore, next year I suspect we'll see we'll be getting somewhere around 70 or $75,000 now that we have this number included in it. That's all I have for the information on that, but that's what the bill was for. Can I, can I ask you a question on that particular one? Um, so it was my understanding that we had been billing them for the capital right along. It, it sounds like what we discovered was we weren't billing them for all of the capital costs and we identified an error and took care of it this year? I, I have to believe it was an error, an oversight, and, but I have no further information than that. All I saw was a copy of the bill. I was, I've been doing a lot of things and that was, I found that so that I could at least answer the question. Can we get some clarification on that once, sure. once you're aware of that? Yep. I can do that. Are there any questions on what I just covered? Anyone else with questions? No, you can keep uh, On what you've already covered? Just, just what I covered. Yeah, I, I, think, um, I think I'd like to get some clarification, quite frankly, for the public's benefit on the voiding of, of the $100,000 um, PO. I'll cover that in the next section. Okay. He That's just okay mentioned with you. that he was going to cover it. Yep. Okay. So would you please continue? Sure. All right, the second package was or is a copy of my revised 2012 open PO listings. It's attached. Uh, you'll see if you read through um, that, you'll see where I've uh, made notations, etc. that this one should be closed, this one, this one is voided, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, the 2012 encumbrances I need the board to approve is through a motion is $385,070.84. 
I've done an analysis of this, and <coughs> I started at the same place I was at last last time at seven hundred thirty-three thousand dollars. I added the fourteen thousand dollars for the code book. I closed out forty-five thousand. I voided the sewer repair at a hundred thousand dollars, and I'll get to that in a second. I pulled off the cemetery worn article PO because that actually is getting encumbered through the other process which we did back in December under RSA 327 V then backed out the uh, funds for a grand total of 385 the operating budget related is in a, under the separate line $377,000 um, and the comparable number in 11 was 317 so therefore the difference between 12 encumbrances and 11 is sixty thousand dollars the question now comes down to be the hundred thousand dollar purchase order we requested a legal legal opinion from town council we also and I have to, and I have to go right back to um, saying that I it was my impression that this board wanted me to encumber a hundred thousand dollars for the work underneath Lafayette Road not to deal with the the project that's also involved, but literally we have a broken sewer and we've proven that. So anyway, I look I for a vehicle. Many people agree with you at that point. Okay. So I, I worked on a vehicle and reading under RSA 327I, you need to have a purchase order, which is the one, one um, thing that I thought would be acceptable. And additionally, the DRA's opinion on the same pro same question was solicited by the budget committee. I had direct contact with Mr. Hamilton, who's the acting director of the DRA, and his opinion was the same as legal counsel's that the uh, purchase order did not meet the letter of the law in regards to 327I, so therefore we have voided that, which then took it out of the bill, the uh, encumbrance list that was being presented. I believe that the motion or the discussion last two weeks ago in regards to this was more to say that, you know, that we needed a legal opinion. This gave us the time to deal with it. We found out that this didn't work, and so it's been taken care of. And it never was at any time encumbered. Absolutely correct. I, I feel that the public needs to know that. I think this has been misrepresented, mm -hmm. and uh, really, the board did not even get. The, our message from our lawyer and his advice until recently this week. And I didn't get an answer from the DRA until late today. on Friday afternoon. Yeah, thank you. Did you want to continue? Uh, that basically comes down to is that uh, if the board feels that the list is uh, acceptable, I'd look, up, look for a motion for the $385,070.84 to encumber the funds for going forward in 2013. Do we have a motion? I'll move that we encumber $385,070.84 against the detail that has been provided by the finance director. And a second? Discussion. Any discussion? Yes. Um, essentially, our past understanding was that we could encumber to a purpose as opposed to a legally obligated ob obligation. Okay. Our understanding now based on the feedback from the town attorney and DRA is we have to have a legally obligated um, contract or other, correct? Yes, sir. So, so, so this basically um, changes, I, I believe, our practice going forward, okay? To this particular one, I assume that all of the other POs that make up this 385000 other than this $100,000 one, are legally obligated um, agreements. Contracts. Absolutely. Okay. So that answers that. Going forward to next year, given the fact that the encumbrances, it would seem to me, have to be approved prior to January 1st, because they have to be legally <coughs> legal obligations as of that date, then it seems to me that the whole process has to change and happen earlier, similar to what happened in 2011. Do you agree with that? No. Okay. Because the as as I did this time, I accumulate through the end of the year a list of the open POs, and they're all you know as we just discussed, the ones that we're dealing with are all legally binding, etc. 
but there are some times, as I found, to the tune of $45,000, that the PO list that we're dealing with may be incorrect or overstated. So therefore, it takes some time for analysis. Once the PO is set up, that puts the outer limit on it. Then it's my job to come to you and say, okay, I have reviewed these, and this is really the number that we need to encumber. You could say, at December 31st, everything on the PO list, encumber it. But I'm telling you is that I would be uncomfortable doing that because there's probably something in there that's in there because it's an oversight, it hasn't cleared through the system or whatever. That's, this is a mechanical generation from the PO list. It has not been reviewed by the department, by department heads, et cetera, and myself, and then, in essence, yourselves. Okay, then the, the question becomes, what if we, what if we said no? If, if we said no, for example, on January 28th or whatever, they're already legally obligated as of December 31st. Yeah. Then basically what you're doing is that you're forcing my opinion, my opinion is that, that you would be forcing the outstanding $385,000 to be absorbed by the 2013 budget. Okay. You have, you, I believe you have the right to say no. Okay. Any other that's, questions that's about yeah, this? Yeah, I do. I, I do, please. Bring them up. Um, my other question, and I don't necessarily expect an answer for it tonight, okay, is that I believe that the authority for a department <coughs> For departmental level overspending should be should be required that the board of selectmen approve that. So, for example, if the police department, the fire department, public works has a three million dollar combination um, budget and and encumbrances from the previous year, that they should not be allowed to go over that amount without the approval of the board of selectmen. And I think where we left that is we're not expecting it tonight, but we're awaiting. Um, a legal opinion from from the town attorney and I would just state that if it if the legal opinion we get back is that the town manager has the authority to overspend um, a departmental level budget then I will make a motion on a policy level um, to try and address that issue thank you any other discussion I think <coughs> yes I, I do have a, a serious problem with this whole matter and that is that this was a significant amount of money, $100,000. I know you took it off, but not only did it not lack transparency. We're voting on the encumbrances tonight, right now. This is what this discussion is about. I'm, I'm getting to that, Mr. Chairman. If you'll excuse me, I'm not finished. We have a vote here, and I don't... I, well, I, just, I am getting to that. Okay, then let's move I'm on. moving up. I'm just, this please stop is. interrupting. Let's get to what this motion is. Stop trying to beat me over the head, Mr. Chairman. I'll take my sweet time. Okay, back to this. We'll be hmm. calling it for a vote if you don't get to what's I am, but if you yet. stop interrupting, please. Okay? My problem is the 14000 That's after the fact. Oh, okay? All right. That is for the code book. That is after the fact. That was asked for in January, not in December. <coughs> And the hundred thousand dollars is the same problem. They're both wrong, in my opinion, on both of those issues. So I can't go along with the three hundred and eighty five. I could go along with three eighty five less the fourteen thousand and what did you do to close the forty five thousand uh, uh, DPW? Is that the uh, uh, order to do the Lafayette Road uh, uh, and the kind of intersection? No. Okay, what, what, what did we do with that purchase order? That purchase order is still there. And what yes. grounds do we have for bringing that forth? It was a legally encumbered purchase order with the engineering firm for the potential project. That's been open since 2011. I know, but then the question becomes, if it's based on a grant that we have yet to receive the money for, I think that's a shade of gray. If you read the Warren article, yeah. that $48,000 is included in the funding for the <coughs> Warren article. So therefore, if you eliminate this PO, then you better modify your Warren article to include an additional $48,000. That's correct. Thank you. That's all I have. Did you have any questions, Mr. Moore? I just wanted to say that um, 
the public, just a couple of things to try to clean up as much of the stuff that I've heard this evening from beginning to now yes. on this issue. It was incorrect for a public comment to allude to Mr. Lassard. He had nothing involved, nothing to do with this, and I'm sure it upsets him. Uh, he's done a lot for this community, both free and paid. And he knows I did, for every I pipe in this town. Is, I know you did. And he knows for probably every pipe in this town is buried. So uh, I apologize to him as well for having his name mentioned. You can mention, when you're making public comments, you can mention mine as much as you want, no problem, but uh, be careful when you're mentioning people who at least aren't represented on the board. I believe, and I'm not sure if, uh, if it's something that I dream when I get home, but I recall in several conversations with the Director of Public Works as we were talking about this, first at the public <coughs> hearing when the engineering firm was in, Secondly, when I believe we gave him direction to do some camera work in the sewer lines that were there, and then lastly, when he came back to say, you know, it might cost X, that we had given you, or some of us had given you enough that you should have, that you would have been reasonable to say they want this encumbered. So I don't hold you at all responsible. If it's a problem, it's a selectman's problem, and I'll be happy to say I voted for it because I think it's the right thing to do for Hampton. We need to get these infrastructure issues um, resolved, and this is one way of carrying forward some money to achieve that. So I accept the idea that it's not, uh, that it's not proper per the law. We'll have to deal with that issue. Let us all remember that the need for the work hasn't gone away. The money has gone away. And it's one quarter of one percent of our spending, so it's not as if uh, I, I know one hundred thousand dollars is a is a large number, but uh, we are running a twenty five million dollar business here. So uh, I'm going to be voting for the motion. Thank you, Mr. Schwarzer, for all your work. And I would like to thank you, Mr. Schwarzer, too. Uh, maybe we were a little off track this time, getting some advice, <coughs> and we getting the last late m advice from the town attorney. Um, we never did, like I said, there was no encumbrance. It was a matter of discussion. We have, unfortunately, a lot of people here looking to th that there's a, a problem. And uh, I'm happy to say that in the nine years I've been here, I have never seen any funny business or any problems going on. I have full confidence in you, and I will continue to make sure that you're not micromanaged. Thank you. All those in further, favor? Further discussion. Stand by, All please. I'd, 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 I'd like, I'd like a, a word here. And uh, some people have been perhaps more loquacious than others uh, uh, in town government. And to, uh, to comment on, on some of the things that were said tonight about one of Hampton's great families, uh, business owners that go back 100 years, uh, uh, servicemen and women to this nation, uh, a really great Hampton family. Uh, give the shirt off their backs to anybody. Um, They've never met a stranger. Doesn't matter if you've been in this town a, a week, a year, a month. And to, to hear some of the comments um, that came forth about that fine family tonight. Um, who's next? Who, who's next in this town? Um, I, I, I just can't speak to it. And uh, to, to uh, subject that family to that, if, if someone were to call those disputatious, pugnacious, insidious, pernicious comments, uh, perhaps many of the people in this town would not disagree. And uh, I, w I was shocked. I'm shocked by the, the, the gutter that this debate has taken as an avenue. And I think the people of Hampton deserve a, a much higher degree, caliber of communication and empathy and respect and civility towards each other. And you, Mr. Chairman, and you, Mr. Welch, and all of your department heads and all of our employees have always afforded that. And uh, this, is, this is a bellwether, and I, w I will not sit at this table, nor did I tonight, when those types of comments are coming downrange. It is not part of my job description as a selectman, and I will not tolerate it. My family will not tolerate it. And we stand by that family, and we stand by this town, and we stand by these people that, that work for this town. And I thank the people that work very hard to produce product here. And I think we can all do a lot better in communicating 
on this board when we have issues and including our legal opinions, our accounting opinions, and give these fine people time to, to work an issue and communicate back to us. Thank you very much. Okay. Further discussion. I don't see how, given the interpretation that we've got on the $100,000 PO not being a legal obligation of December 31st, how we consider, can consider the $14,350 <coughs> for the code book a legal obligation on December 31st when there was no agreement with the vendor, there was no PO until a week ago. I would make a motion to amend the amount of the 385,070 to 370,720, in which case I will vote for it because based on the finance director's description that all of the POs were legal obligations, I think we will have a, 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 a pure um, list of encumbrances at that point, and I would vote for it. I will not vote for the 385 based on knowing that the 14350 was not a legal obligation as of December 31st. Did you want to comment on this, Mr. Schwarzer? It comes down to is that I screwed up. I was told by Mr. Welsh to issue a PO or at least take care of it, and I didn't do it in time, and so <coughs> therefore it's, I apologize for that, and if you want to remove it, then that's fine. I'll, I'll second the amendment. Did you want to weigh in on this? No. Uh, Mr. Gerald. I, I, we are raising the standard for being a administrator to a level of godlike behavior. What you're saying is that no mistake is tolerated, and if you don't have it done by midnight of December the 31st, then oh, you can't do it. This, the, the gentleman has suggested that it was something that was on the list to do. I have no, I have absolutely zero reason not to believe him. And we're saying, okay, a mistake was made, screw you. And I think that's a, just a little bit too much. So I'm not going to vote for your amendment. Or, and I, I want to... I call that micromanaging. Just to put Further that discussion, out on the table. Mr. Chairman. I think the trend we've seen here in the last two or three months, this is not good at all. And if we're going to condone this in public, once we find out after the fact, 14 days into the next year, that's totally unacceptable. <coughs> If there's plenty of opportunity at the meeting on the 17th and at the end of December, December to bring all this stuff forward, and they didn't. So I, I don't understand how you can say we're setting a high standard. We're just going by the don't rules. I accuse you of setting a high standard. Oh. Now, I'm careful now, Mr. Chairman. That sounds like a personal whack. It is. Oh, thank you. Now we've identified your style. Okay. To be truthful, now we have a. Uh, well, let's. We have, to ask, we have to ask another. I have to ask another question. The test that's been established through the conversations with the DRA and the review that Mark has done of the law in question does the fourteen thousand three fifty still work regarding those two? That you know the the re legal review and the interpretation from DRA because there's no reason to continue this oh I gotta find a I can't find a word there's no reason to continue this discussion if it's going to be something else that uh, goes back into the uh, into the little machine that we have here so is it going to pa pass muster or if not? you want to cut it right to the point was it cut by December 31st no Okay. And is that the rule? Now, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. But you have to learn what I live with in regards to the time. All right. <coughs> so, an accountant, December 31st is a point in time. I will be dealing with December 31st for the next six months. I will be trying to get to into the correct year, the correct amount of money, the correct accruals, the correct encumbrances, the correct reporting, etc. I can't do that on December 30th. I will never be able to do that. It takes time to analyze anything. Did I screw up? Yes. If I had pulled that piece of paper out from beneath my folder and said, oh crap, 
and put that into the system, you would not be having this conversation or this question. Do I feel that it is a legally binding contract? Yeah, I really do. And I believe it should be encumbered. But you have the right, because of you know, your board, to kick it through and kick it out. Will I screw up again? Probably. But I, this is the little things that I have to fix as I go along. I'm making adjustments as we talk when I'm dealing with the books. The books aren't finished. They won't be finished until they're audited. <laughs> and they won't be finished until they have to be audited because there will be continued adjustments. That's my life. That's what I deal with. If you want to make sure that <coughs> everything is done on December 31st, find somebody else because it cannot be done. Okay, so where do we stand? We have a, was there was your motion an seconded? I don't know. There's a second for the amendment. Okay. Any just further discussion? All those in favor of this amendment? Against? It's three against, two, four. For the original um, motion. <coughs> motion. motion, all those in favor? Three, four, all those against, two against. Thank you very much. I Thank you for Thank yeah. you. I did have a second uh, item on the agenda, yes. and um, I only received late this morning um, the motion uh, related to the issuance of the bonds for the bond and also the ban, the bank anticipation note, from, uh, from bond council. Um, this is all going to occur on February 15th. It's a long motion, it's a long item, and I did get it to you late, and I apologize for that. That's the best we could do. It's on the agenda, but if we want to postpone this until next week, you will have time to absorb it, and I'd be looking for a motion at that time. Or we can deal with it tonight. We can, we can do that. I saw nothing on yeah, it. Yeah, we can do that because we are running late here this evening. Thank you, yep. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you coming. Michael. Thank you, Michael. And if you can keep us informed, Mr. Gerald, we'll be looking for your opinion. We did get your opinion, but late into when all these other comments were already made. Right. We were actually uh, simultaneously looking for a view from DRA, and uh, mine and DRA came out at the same time. Actually, the problem with DRAs is that uh, regardless of what I think or any other attorney thinks, if DRA were to disallow a, a, uh, an, an appropriation, um, we'd have a problem. Okay. And so it's important to get both. The question was asked from DRA very early on, and uh, it, 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 took that long. it took that long. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Mark, did you want to join us here for this next discussion?